Hello everyone, and welcome back to Sawdust and Circuits. In today's video, we're looking at these pens I picked up for $3.49 at my local thrift shop. I saw them and I thought, oh, I remember these. A whole rainbow in one hand without having to carry a pocket full of pens. I might be a dork, but I don't need a pocket protector to prove it. Well, my excitement didn't last long. I tested them, and every single one was dead. Well, not empty, just refusing to write. Then I remembered an old episode of How It's Made. I saw this years ago. They were filling pen tubes up with ink, and right at the end, they put them into a machine that spun it up to prime the tip. A pen centrifuge, or a Pentrafuge. Naturally, I thought, I can build that. Here's what I came up with. The upper head spins, and the pens sit in little baskets with a 0.4 diameter socket. So it should work for a lot of pen sizes. Only rule, you have to load the two sides with the same weight, or you'll be in for some wobbly chaos. The bottom holds a 5.5 millimeter power jack, a motor controller, and a small DC motor. This enclosure, it's left over from another project where I built a UFO lamp. It seemed like a good choice with minimal mods. All right, let's fire it up. It looks like a Disney ride for pens. Now I let this run for about 10 minutes, long enough for the motor to get nice and toasty. And nothing. These pens are still dead. Sometimes you start with a project with total confidence that it'll work and it just doesn't. Maybe it needs more speed, maybe it needs to spin longer, or maybe it needs a bigger motor and some warning labels. If you've got any ideas, drop them in the comments. Well that's it for today's glorious failure. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.